Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel, Abano Moon Child Tarot. I am back here and I'm here to do your general reading for the second half of March 2019. Mercury Retrograde has me saying first, second, first half, second half, I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on, move forward. Scorpio, first card out, Wheel of Fortune, y'all. Next is Queen of Swords. And then we have the moon. Under the Wheel of Fortune, we have Knight of Swords. Under the Queen of Swords, we have Ace of Cups. And under the moon, we have all the lovers. Bottom of the deck in the overall energy, Four of Cups. Wonder if you know I'm there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Totally messed that up. Anyways. Um, my OCD is kicking in, y'all. This Virgo, like, okay, I, I follow Eastern and Western. So this Eastern super Virgo full moon and Virgo is my OCD. All right, so Four of Cups. Four of Cups is like wandering, dreaming. Cause I'm dreaming of you tonight till tomorrow and for all my life. And there's nowhere in the world I'd rather be. Then here in my room, dreaming with you, here with me. Anyways, so it's like you're daydreaming, you're wandering. You're wandering, love. You're wandering. What do I mean by wandering? All right, lovey. This cup right here, it's not here yet. These cup right here, they're present. They're accounted for. But somebody's looking at this cup. Wanting it, wishing it, focused on it, not focused on these. So this is, in a sense, rejecting something, missed opportunities, okay? Be careful, Scorps. All right, so Will of Fortune, Will of Fortune, Queen of Swords, the Moon. So, signs that I see here, I see um, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini specifically. I see Aquarius, Gemini, mostly, not Libra. Okay, something about like it's been written in it's been written in time. It's been it, it's faded. Faded events are about to happen, and they're about to come in quickly. All right, they're about to come in and throw you off guard, throw you off balance, throw you off. It's like not really off balance. It just comes in so fast. That you feel like you didn't even know. Like you will not know this coming in. All right. Something happens quickly, and then we have communication, clear communication in regards to feelings, or this could be a new love interest. This person could be very uh, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, mostly Aquarius, so it could be very kind of eccentric. Um, they could also be very like humanitarian-ish, um, loves to talk. Loves innovative things, probably plays around a lot with technology, all right, or something in the computer technology field, right? Um, security or whatever. Um, for others, I feel like it's divine timing that communication of feelings come in, and then there are some where it is just time for this cold lady to finally melt her heart. 
because this would be the ice that this lady has. The you know this is just the card, the energy of the Queen of Swords, divorcee, widower. She's been hurt before. She is jaded. All right, and then um, we have the Ace of Cups, which is like you know melting the icy heart. So you've melted the icy heart, Scorpio, or you're needing to melt your icy heart. Um, for some others, it's needing to cut out emotions. Don't look at it from an emotional standpoint. Look at it from a factual standpoint, okay? Because there may be too much water here. All right. Um, the moon could be about secrets, hiding feelings. This is also your intuition guiding you. Mystery. I'm feeling this is this is the fourth house and this is the uh the twelfth house, or it could used to also be the fourth house. Okay, third house is communication. Fourth house is about fourth house is about home, daily routines, right? So <clears throat> there could be a decision that needs to be made. Or somebody's holding back feelings, hiding feelings, not allowing feelings to come out. Um, but very much wanting to do so. Wanting to express them. But wanting to express them in a clear way versus a cutthroat snitch way. Because this is the lady that will cutthroat a snitch. All right, Aquarius energy. They are awesome when they are happy, but cross them, and man, ice, ice, ice. All right, so moving on, moving forward, lovies. Do I see anything cray-cray here? Um, if somebody's having twins, your water broke. Birth can happen at night time or in Pisces season. Okay. So clarifying the Wheel of Fortune and the, the Knight of Swords. Oh my God. Come on. We have the Seven of Swords. So there was lying, cheating, stealing, withholding information. Is what I'm getting. So somebody was holding back. Like this is a thief in the knife. So somebody could be have, have stolen. Because you see the moon here. And then we have the moon out on the grid. So it could be like somebody was being deceptive. And like some type of drama comes out. It's about divine time. It comes out. Um, this could also just be... Um, Actually, I'll clarify that a little bit more. I, I'm not understanding that deceptivity either. Deceptive timing, deceptive luck, deceptive communication, just full of drama and deception could be. And it's like ready to move on, move forward from it is what I'm feeling. Then the King of Wands clarifying <clears throat> clarifying the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So this could be a fire sign. Um, Aries Leo Sag. But it's like... King of Wands, Queen of Swords. If this is your energy, Scorpio... It's like... You can be very cutthroat. You can be very clear in communication. You can be very forward moving. But it's also based all upon how you feel. Okay, so now with this new cup, it's like you found your your self-worth, your self-value. So you're moving on, moving forward. All right. And you know what's interesting here? Okay, see. This is the card of Gemini, the lovers. And this is the card of Pisces, the moon. So twos and twos. What do I mean? Two fishes for the Pisces. Two twins for the Gemini. Alright. I'm looking at something else. 
That's eight, nine, ten. That's a six. Six to, to one, one to six. Either one to six or six to ten. Something like that. Right? I, I won't know what that means. You guys will have to clarify if y'all know what it means. Alright, Knight of Pentacles is clarifying this. So this offer, this slow-moving, stable, but secure, trustworthy, dependable, reliable foundation that is coming to build brick by brick. Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They are in love with you, and that's their secret. That's the secret. They're in love with you. But how they're showing it to you, they're not going to express it yet. But how they're showing it to you is they're showing it. It's physical. Time. Money. Material things. That's what you're needing to look at, all right? Bottom of the deck and the overall energy. Like, they, they do consider you. Page of Cups. Alright, so this is more flirtatious. Learning to communicate. Immature emotions. So, you... Alright, this is... I'm just going to be straight up honest, Scorpio. There's some... There's some... Um, either you or the other person, you have a temperament of a four-year-old. Okay? I'm just going to be real. That's what I'm seeing. And that's that deception. It's like you're... Somebody thinks that they're communicating like... They're communicating like Jupiter expanded growth, knowledgeable, right? But honestly, they're communicating drama, scattered messages. And that's where that deception lies. All right. So somebody th says they know, they know, they know that they they know spiritually or they know something, but they don't know. They don't. They don't. They're just. They're kind of scattered. But needing to communicate honestly, emotions. All right. How one feels. But not from an emotional standpoint of view, you know, not be emotionally tied to the emotions, just expressing those emotions, communicating those emotions. All right. And that. Jeez. That this is what's like, this is what's going to make you guys move forward. This, this is how to creatively express. Okay. Okay. And then, of course, the last, which I've already explained. So let's go into the angel answers and then we're closing out. First card for you says, you're ready. Uh, you're ready. Scorpio's ready. Next card. Let's see. Perfect timing. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. We have Jupiter in your house if you're following Vedic. I follow, I'm going to follow Vedic on this because honestly, I don't feel lucky as a Sag, but I am a Scorpio sun and I do see like things happening for me spiritually. That's waking me up and things in, because I'm a Sag rising in Vedic and a Scorpio sun anyways. And then the last card says, let go. Needing to let go of that last bit, that last juicy bit, that last bit of brashness, of that drama, of that deceptive, like, lying about communication or sneaking away from communication, dodging communication even. Um, it's time to communicate those feelings. It's time to really express yourself instead of... Um, Instead of bullshitting around, honestly. All right. Bottom of the deck and the overall energy says not the right 
time. Yes, perfect time, but it's not the right time right now, especially during Mercury retrograde. All right. So if you guys wanting to communicate something, convey something, do that after the March 28th, because if you do it before March 28th, then there could have been, again, missed opportunities. There could have been all kinds of uh, things that you could have said that you, you know, really wanted to convey. You know, you put thought into it. Okay, so that's what I have for you. I hope that this message resonated. Please um, hit that thumbs up, share, subscribe, comment down below if it did. If it didn't, check back towards the end of the month to see if it resonated then. All right, if it still didn't, description box below. Hit me up. I'll see you guys. Love you. Bye.